I'm going to attempt to win the Champions League with only free agent transfers. That's right, I'm not allowed to spend any money on signings, nor am I allowed to invest in the youth academy. The free agents market is going to be our only hope. And it's going to be really difficult, because we're going to have to take a championship club all the way to the Champions League trophy with only three players. I don't think I'm prepared for this. To make things worse, our fate is dependent on the wheel. All 24 championship clubs are on this. And let's see the club we're going to get to manage. Preston United. I think that's horrendous. Oh my days, they're one of the worst clubs in the championship. Just a three-star rating. But you guys know me. I'm not one to back down from a challenge. It's going to be difficult. We're going to have to scout the entire free agents market. And we'll give it everything. Okay, take that back. What on earth is this team? Even for the championship, it's, it's horrendous. Now, we are allowed to keep existing players we've got here. So that's going to be a bonus. But like the best player we've got is Ben Whiteman, who's like 27 or already? Do we have any youngsters we can maybe build the team around? This guy's there, Mats Frockier from Denmark. You just know I've butchered his name. But yeah, nobody else looks all that good. The wheel definitely stitched us up. I mean, couldn't we have gotten Leeds United or Leicester? That would have made life so much easier. But all right, let's straight away get into the free agents market and see what kind of players we could possibly bring in. Okay, straight away, I think we found a beast. Nedilsko Lavrovic. 74 rated, but only 23 years old. How on earth is he a free agent? This is an absolute steal. First season, I think we're not going to see like crazy free agents. It's going to be like season two, season three, maybe beyond where we start getting the crazy players. But we could set a great foundation by finding bargains right now because that's kind of what we need. And by the way, we don't have unlimited money for the free agents we sign. We still have to follow the transfer budget that Preston have. Thankfully, it's decent enough to bring in our first free agent signing. Let's go. Good thing is we still have about 8 million left. That should be enough to sign maybe three, four more free agents, but I don't know if we'll find that many good players. But yeah, Labrovic, our first free agent signing, he goes right into this team. He's like higher rated than anyone else. The thing is, I'm unsure if I want to use this formation. Maybe for the start, it'll work out with this. But yeah, we're definitely going to need to improve that defense if we want to run this. Okay, let's see if there are any good center-back free agents. Okay, we've got Jakub Brabeck, but he's 30 years old. That's a bit of an iffy one. I'm not sure it makes sense. Okay, we've got Reyes, the Mexican center-back again. 23 years old, 85 sprint speed. Okay, he's a bit of a tiny center back, 5 for 10. But hey, compared to our existing defense, this would be a massive upgrade. And yep, we're snapping him up. I'm wondering if they're going to be some decent English free agent players, because it would be nice to sign them up. Oh, nope. wow, not a single one. Hopefully that changes in future seasons. The hunt for free agents is still on, and I've actually found a couple of decent players. First one is the fusion of Mikhailo Modric and <laughs> Zinchenko. That's literally his name, Mikhail Chenko. Bro, just for that name, I kind of want to sign him up. But I'm looking at Homam Emmett being 68 rated at the age of 23. He's got more growth, definitely. But nah, this name is too crazy for me to ignore him. And there you go. We've got him for absolutely free. Honestly, guys, in terms of the free agent players we've brought in, I think we've done a good job. Labrovic, Reyes, and Mikhailchenko. If we can just maybe get in a midfielder, a striker, I think we'll be good. All right, time to hunt for midfielder free agents. Oh, and I think we found the king, Marcel. Marcel Ruiz, 75 rated. I think the Liga MX is not on FIFA. And because of that, we've got so many Mexican free agents. They're coming through for us. And this might be the best one we've signed yet. Because look at that. He's worth 9.5 million. And bro's a beast. And there you go. We've signed him up too. All we need is a quality young striker. And I think we've got a team that could maybe even get promoted. All right, let's see who we can pick up from this. Henry Martin, 79 rated, but he's 30 years old. Can we get some? Someone young. Ah, there aren't many options, you know. Let's check center forwards. Could we find someone there? Ah, don't think so. Do you know what? Who are our existing strikers? It's Emil Ries, 25 year old from Denmark. And we've got this Osmagic guy, again a youngster. Do you know what? First season, let's stick with this. We've brought in four players for free. Maybe next season the free agent pool will be better. But yeah, don't know if we're good enough to get promoted. Don't forget, guys, if we want to win the Champions League with this team, first we need to get to the Premier League. And let's see if our free agents signings can help us out with that. End of season one, and it's definitely good that we're not in the relegation zone, because that would just make life harder. Oh, but we also didn't get even a playoff spot. I'm, I'm disappointed with that. We finished eighth, but hey, we didn't really inherit a crazy team with Preston. So yeah, it's gonna take a grind and a lot 
more free agents. To be fair, the existing free agents we signed, they've done well. Look at Labrovich, our goalkeeper, up to a 77 overall. Mikhail Chenko up to 74. Look at Reyes up to 77. He's going to be insane for us. Ruiz too. And I think we did the right thing by trusting our strikers. They've put up some decent growth. But yeah, I definitely think if we want to get promoted, we're going to have to find some more ballers in the free agent section. All right, guys, it's time for season two. And you know straight away where we're heading. It's the free agent section. Let's see if there are any decent strikers that are available now. There are definitely a lot more options. Look at that, a 72 rated striker. We're also going to start to slowly see regens pop up here. And that's going to be very crucial. Okay, and talking about regens, I think we found someone insane. Arthur Ball, 18 year old free agent striker. Bro, he's actually insane. And I don't even know who's regen he could be. Ben Zemmers would have been a center forward. But regardless, I think we just snap him up. Not going to lie. This could literally change everything for us because the potential he must have is going to be crazy. And also, look who we've just found in the free agent section. Probably one of the brightest Spanish prospects, Nico Melamed. I can't believe his parent club didn't renew his contract. It's ridiculous. He's only 23, 77 rated. We're absolutely negotiating and signing him up. And there you go. It's, it's a done deal. We're definitely cooking, boys. The midfield and attack is now so much better. But I still think we need something in the center back spot. Ah, but here's where we're running into problems. There's no one really that good. Okay, we found Felipe. I know he's 35 years old, but maybe the experience could be enough to get us promoted, and then we'll see what to do next. And so, yes, we are indeed signing him up. The team is now looking much better. I think we've made massive steps forward with the free agent signings. A bit of experience there with Felipe too. Let's get through the season and see if we can make our first step towards the Champions League, which is getting promoted. End of the season, and the free agents have done it! 107 points. What a season. And without spending a penny on transfers, we're on our way to the Premier League. Oh, and I think it's because we lucked out with Paul and Milamed. These two are gonna carry us. I mean, just look at Arthur Paul's stats. I'm just wondering whose regen he could be. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have any idea. And also shout out Will Keane. He, he popped up with 26 goals. The real journey though begins now in the Premier League. We need to, of course, get top four as soon as possible. Qualifying for Champions League, but I think it's gonna take us a while because although we've brought in some great free agents so far i don't think our team is good enough to survive the premier league i mean we've got 56 million to spend and i would love to use that on transfers but we're not allowed to do that okay three seasons in the free agent quality should be a lot better i'm hoping we'll start seeing some high rated free agents now yo that's former real madrid player mariano but he's too low rated so yeah we're seeing some interesting options we're just gonna have to be patient to start with i think we've already got our felipe replacement in Danilo. He's a bit old, 33, but 81 rated. We'll need that in the Premier League. And of course, we've snapped him up. Also managed to pick up Philippe Benkovic. He's nothing too crazy, but 75 rated. That defense looks more like it can survive in the Premier League. We could also do with a good CDM, and I found Leonard Maloney, 25 years old, 75 rated. And no way, guys, a former Manchester United player, Timothy Fosumensa. He's a free agent. And if you look at our team right now, that's one of the positions we're really lacking. And of course, we've got this transfer done too. With all the free agent signings, just look at how good this team looks. Reyes is one who's going to continue to grow. Milamed and Ruiz in that midfield is amazing. Paul is a future superstar. If we can just find another good striker, I reckon we can have a solid Premier League season. Ah, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there are any good strikers available. But now I guess we're going to have to stick with this team. And let's see if we can survive the Premier League. Okay, good news is we didn't get relegated. Bad news is we're still far away from from Champions League football, 11th in the Premier League. Growth's been actually decent. The thing is, if we want to qualify for Champions League and win the Premier League and everything, we're gonna need some big boy free agents. And for that, we're gonna have to rely on crazy luck. Also, guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. Two million subscribers is the next goal. And I know it sounds super difficult and ridiculous, but with your help, one day we could get there. So yeah, please subscribe. We're now in season four, and I really want to start making a push towards top four because we need it if we want to ever win the Champions League. The thing is, guys, I feel like we're more closer to getting relegated this season because our defense, it's horrendous. We still need a better CDM as well, a better striker. I just hope there are some really good free agents available now. We're now in season four. There should be. No freaking way. Lisandro Martinez is available as a free agent. 87 rated. 
overrated. He's 28 in his prime. This is exactly what we need. This could legit be the most important free agent signing we're making. And there you go. I can't believe we've signed him. I think since we're four seasons in, we're going to now start seeing players like Lisandro pop up here. We just need to be able to spot them and sign them up. And look at that. We found another baller for the CDM position, Mishu. I'm pretty sure he was a former PSG player. 23 years old, 75 rated. Of course, we're snapping him up. Oh, and we found another super high rated player, Domenico Berardi, 85 rated. I know we don't have a right winger in our formation, but if we can convert him to like a center forward, I think he can do the job. We've made three free agent signings so far, but I've got one more in me. Samuel Berendelli, 79 rated right wing back. I really think we can make use of him, so welcome to the club. And oh, the team looks so much better this season with Lisandro Martinez and their Berardi in that center forward role. Oh, but the thing is, there weren't any good free agents left for the left wing back positions. I couldn't even find another good center back. It's so difficult to find the perfect players and that's what makes this so challenging. But let's hope this season we can make a push further towards the top four. End of the season and I like this. A bit of solid progress. Just four points away from being in the top four. Look at the difference. Newcastle have got them to be a Champions League club by spending all the money. We're just having to deal with the scraps and building our team that way. But I guess it's fine because we're seeing a lot of growth. I mean, just look at Paul. Oh, that is filthy. 30 goals this season. Unreal. Marcel Ruiz, the Mexican midfielder we signed, he's growing really well too. Same with Reyes. But the truth is, guys, we need at least every player being 80 plus rated. Only then, I think we'll have a chance of getting even top four. Season five. And I think most importantly, we need another center back. Because Benkovic, man, he's 29. We don't probably need a new left wing back because I just found Keon Best, Schilling, who's 77 rated on our bench. And he's only 21 years old. How did I not find him before? Plus, I think I'm happy with Mishu there. He should be able to grow pretty well. So yeah, if we can just find a good center back, we should be good. Oh, but it's looking like a struggle. There isn't anyone like crazy good left. Okay, the best I could find so far is Nico Elvedi, but he's 30 years old. It's it's not the point. Okay, I might have found the Chiellini regen in Angelo Bellini. Okay, that might be our savior. We keep going, man, on this free agent hunt. And I definitely think we're on to something. Top four could be possible this season, but more than that, we just need a solid amount of growth in our team. No way, guys. Even that wasn't enough to get top four. This time, we were the closest we've ever been. Just a couple of points. But how do we beat a club like Newcastle who just keeps spending money? Well, at least one thing we did this season was get every player above the overall of 80. That's solid progress. I mean, just look at Paul. He's 92 rated. Another ridiculous season. But I think where we're lacking is Berardi's position. We kind of need someone better. He's 33 on his last legs. He's done a great job. But we kind of need to find a superstar just like Paul. But how are we going to find that in the free agent section? Season 6 and I think we found our savior. Yanis Duboy. He should be Benzema's reach and I do not know why I didn't search for him before. But let's go. That's just perfect. This could honestly be the signing that gets us into the Champions League. Because our attack now is absolutely crazy. And surely that's going to be enough to qualify for the Champions League. League. And finally, guys, we did it. Second with Preston, the Free Agents FC are gonna be in the Champions League. We weren't good enough to win the Premier League, though. Seven points off. Maybe if we make a few more signings, the Premier League could be in the bag, too. But most importantly, next season, it's time to go for the Champions League. Look at our team right now, guys. I don't see why we can't win the Premier League as well as the Champions League. Like, the team is there. We've literally got a 94-rated Paul, a 92-rated Dubois sub top. If we can just add a few more good free agents. Oh, but it looks like I, I think we might have ran out of luck. There isn't really anyone good available anymore. I mean, we got this guy, Yunus Akun, but what is he going to do for us? I think we need to just trust this team and hope that we get lucky both in the Premier League and the Champions League. Talking about luck, this is where it all begins. The Champions League group stage draw. Oh, and okay, we've got a very easy group. I mean, yeah, Leipzig could be tough. Lazio too, but we should be able to top this. I think this first Champions League game with the free agents will let us know a lot about our team. Can we get the win? There you go. Oh, wow. But we cut it really close and only could finish second in the group. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, Liverpool are absolutely running away with it. I think it's super clear. No matter what, we're just free agents. Winning the Premier League is just outrageous. Liverpool and Man City are always going to outspend us and just have the better team. But in the Champions League, with a bit of luck, I think we could do it. Okay, yeah, we've got no luck whatsoever. Bayern Munich
making the round of 16. Guys, I'll be real. I don't think we've got a chance against Musiala. But let's see. To be fair, our team does have a lot of high-rated players too, especially the attack. But we end up losing the first leg. But I'm really feeling, have we reached a limit with what a bunch of free agents can do? Hopefully not. We're gonna need luck and we get the... Let's go. We've knocked out Bayern. We needed a bit of luck and we've drawn Marseille in the quarterfinals. And yup, that's job done. But nah, this could be the end of the road, man. We're playing BSG. A bunch of free agents against probably the most expensive player in the history of the sport. How are we going to compete with Kylian Mbappe? Let's just hope for the best. And it's a 2-1 defeat. Unless we do a comeback, it might be over. Can we do this? And yes, we can. 4-1. What a comeback. The free agents have conquered probably the most valuable player in the world right now, Kylian Mbappe. Let's go. And now we've got the champion. Champions League final, Preston, the free agents FC, up against Lazio. How did they get here? To be fair, they did top the group over us, so it's going to be a challenge. Also, we managed to win the Premier League. Same points as Liverpool, but better goal difference. Bro, that is crazy. The squad we built for literally nothing has done a madness. I think every player in this team is a free agent except for Kian Best. That is ridiculous. Now it's time to finish the job and win at the Champions League. Wait a minute, no way are we letting Anthony cook us. Are you kidding me? How have we let this fraud score against us? But you know what? We've got crazy French free agents in our team with Paul up there. Look at him go. Bro's unstoppable. Paul keeps going and he's actually scored. Now, I'm telling you, the two French free agent strikers that we've got, they're going to be the reasons we win the Champions League. I, I believe in them. Now it's Dubois' turn to show what he's all about. Look at him go. Bro is actually ridiculous on the triple. Cut back. We might have something to do over here. Nico Milamed, go on. Oh, we couldn't score. Johan Cruyffed once said a football game has never been won by a bag of money. And we're proving that right. Our team of free agents is coming through. We're leading 2-1. French duo that we've got up top. Here goes Dubois. He can't be stopped as well. And that should be it for this one. I don't see any sort of comeback happening. It's done, guys. We've taken a bunch of free agents all the way to the Champions League trophy. It's actually amazing how insane of a team we were able to build. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, why not watch me build the greatest youth academy on FIFA? Click here to watch that.